This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. Yeah, but there's no way to... If that's... If that logic is to be correct, then the other three are condemned. Because we couldn't, we can't go back further in time, can we? Like, hit the restart button on this stuff? What does this say? Historic restoration, dangerous, unstable structure, sight and safe. Is anything here not falling apart? Part of being a ghost town is having brittle bones. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. There you are. There I am. No, this cannot be. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from oh. her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild mm. imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. Andrews Abraham. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so the I condemn a, a villain, child. Yeah. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. Oh no. No one can doubt that. Oh boy. After all you've seen, Daniel, you'd defend the priest? Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong, for all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No, nope. we never even saw her. Fuck. Hate me all you like, Daniel. It's that strange, strange priest's fault. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. <laughs> that was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? Bad boy, good boy, Daniel. 
We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you doing? of years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Makes no sense. I'm good with that. N never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. I guess we need a hero. Jeez. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? Oh, God. A paladin. A holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. Spare me. I never had you down as a game geek. Ugh. There's a lot more about me you don't know. Ugh. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. Boo. We need to get moving. Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash. Oh, boy. Here. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Okay. Okay, well, what's next? Taylor! Where are you? Taylor! Follow sounds, follow movement. Follow sounds. Taylor! That you? Hold on to me! Whatever happens, do not let go! Get out of here? Oh, leave me! Get out of here with the others! Hold on to me! Ah. Oh. Ah. Can I reach? Oh. <laughs> what are these things? What the fuck was that? Whatever it is, it ain't American. I mean, I guess it's proto-American. Where were you guys? Like seriously, just chilling? Let's check that out. Wow, It'll get nice. us out of these damn woods and we can talk on the way. Yeah, I know you guys had your little mini quest back there. Glad y'all made it. Now, can we move it along? Is how our creating creative right of prof addresses us. This game's a lot uh, longer than I thought. What happened back there with that thing? It's gone baffled. What do you think? Yeah, just ask her. What do you think? <sighs> no idea. It was a real shitstorm. What do you think? Seems like it wanted to haul my ass off into the woods. Can't even think about what might have happened to me. Yeah, I didn't want to kill you. Is the tide beginning to turn in our favor? Whatever we saw back there or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. That's right. It could have easily killed us, but instead, it's dragging us somewhere. We might have missed. There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just yeah, a theory. hypothesis. It a may hypothesis, only be a theory, folks. but right now. now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Should have stayed silent there. But if we're gonna die, we're at least gonna know the difference between a hypothesis and a theory. Okay, so we recognize that area, this that sinkhole. Just looking around, making sure there's no secrets that I can't see at an eye's glance. Okay, there's something back here. Premonition. Something good, I hope. Well, I mean, look, our first 
Let's see. Our first idea of them just dragging off, dragging us off somewhere is true for some of us. But for some of us, it's straight up like it's gonna kill us, you know? It grabs him and snaps his neck. It, reminiscent of, of the, you know, the way he died with having that, uh, in the prologue, having something fall on him and, and crush him. So whatever, whoever John's uh, doppelganger dies by, or two, or proto-John, it does go after him and tries to kill him. It doesn't drag him away. So we have to be extra careful with John then. Mayor? Mayor hails land deal. Uh, fears, protests will survey, will surely escalate as closure looms. Hmm. Interest. God, I'm so uncertain. What if those were good demons? Oh. The mayor? The mayor is Carver. Well, I guess now we know who he is. Samuel Carver became the mayor? Yikes. You would elect Carver as your mayor? What were you thinking? Okay, I feel like we've kind of seen what we need to see over here, so I'm going to progress the story. Check this out. Here's Vince, alive and well. That guy's a menace. I don't oh, think come he on. gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Wait, can we talk to him first? Guys! The one guy who could give you information and you're walking away from well, him. No one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and So what why is do you not. keep pulling me in then? Nothing good it, will come of this. Especially if you His think I'm the devil. Seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. No way. No way we're gonna surrender the kid to you. You psycho. Alright, pause. I have a new, uh, I have a new hypothesis. I wonder if, and this is kind of, you know, reaching, I get it, you know, hey, we're all, we're all trying to come up with our own idea of what the story will lead. Anyways, Andrew is in a courtroom in the mind, right? And blaming Mary or the kid is a way of blaming who started the fire. Him taking responsibility and saying it was not Mary's fault, it was mine, I left the kettle on, that's him basically accepting the reality of things. 
Why he would have his sister and his brother date, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like, what, what's that about? But I think that's the case. And so for him, sticking up for Mary is a way for him to just accept that, like, look, she didn't start the fire. I mean, she may have been there presently and, like, didn't turn the kettle off. But, I mean, look, she's just a kid. Whereas he started the fire. That whole, like, demon background, in the, like a demon in the background in the, in the prologue, again, I think that's a red herring. I don't think there's anything really supernatural here other than the psychology of a person who is in deep regret of uh, certain life choices. And by keeping all these characters alive, we get to further explore his psychology. So I think that's why we need to keep these characters alive, because he needs to uh, navigate his mind to unravel certain uncertainties. What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? No, I don't think so. That kid is guilty. This is tough for you. This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. God, please don't convict the kid. I think this whole illusion with the... Uh, Tell the court what you have come here to say. This whole thing is an illusion. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little not here Hall. for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time Indeed. is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. That's a mistake, Wyman. A mistake that will plague this town. Seriously, though, uh, at least she isn't condemned or he condemned her. That's good. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Oh, John. He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong. Like, good. She's the victim here. Good. Oh, that's <laughs> bad. Very, very bad. Shit. <laughs> so what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? Supportive, yeah. It went down just like he said. Great. Where are we now? What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. We don't have enough weapons on us. Examine. What's this? What's this? Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. There's gotta be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? Not before all the secrets are uncovered. In memory of James Clark, 72. Sadly missed by his friends and f colleagues. Huh. Sis my ass? Kiss my ass. Oh. Wonderful. Mr. Vincent Barnes, uh, Mayflower Avenue. D Dear Mr. Barnes, subject letter, employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I'm writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and, re and recent injury by accepting your reoccurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendances, lateness, and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in dismissal. Raven Den expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. 
You must acknowledge the receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman in office within seven days. Unreadable. Okay, Raven Den is the name of the company, which would explain all the ravens, I suppose. This must have been his uh, father's desk from the 70s. Yeah, open it. And here we are. That is all of us. A family photo on a sunny day in front of their house. Their faces are all f uh, familiar. Uh, these faces keep popping up throughout Little Hope's history from outside a very typical American family. Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But... They're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. Factory closed. Huh. Wait, where's the... Wait, did I miss the prompt? Alright, never mind. Uh... <laughs> Hundreds of layoffs will get uh, will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are said to be lost in Little Hope when the Raven Den textile factory closes its gates at the Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and and auxiliary uh, businesses across the town. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer for the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers in the factory part of our extended family. Uh, Raven Den means a lot to them. We can no longer continue on the business. Dialogue with the Carver family, uh, said McCarthy. But while the daughters have been uh, receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, we want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept our partners, or does not accept partners. Another union worker said, another wor union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. They can't profit from the land. They will shut it all down. If they can't profit, they will shut it all down. As the main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding, We, ferryman, bus driver, wanted full training given. Could this have been... the bus driver see this very same article? Is a bus driver not from our time as well? Hmm. Something is amiss in Little Hope. <laughs> 